Hello everyone, today we'll be playing Tim Schafer's Psychonauts, which is pretty much a action-adventure platformer released in late 2004, 2005, came out on the Xbox, PC, and PS2. It was a kind of like a commercial flop when it released, but it been re-released a couple of times throughout the years, such as on the uh, PS3 and Xbox 360 store, then PS4 and Xbox One store and whatnot, but, and then released on Steam, pretty much gained a cult, cult, a cult falling over the years, and end up getting two games added on to the series, of course. One is a VR game, and then the eventual sequel to this game, because, yes, this game did end on a cliffhanger. And I'm going to let the menu play a bit and just show you how creative it is. Because this is like a very good interactive menu, of course. We have the bling, the logo, the start start button, and then you know, all these um, title, title cards coming in, showing who work on the game and whatnot. The things in the background are like figments. Pretty much they're like a collectible in the game that help you rank up and get more uh, powers or whatnot, though, or make you stronger in the game. But to go a little bit into the story, you play as 10-year-old ten, Raz Butin, who broke into this government camp where they're training psychic, uh, training kids with psychic, with psychic abilities, and pretty much due to him being there illegally, he's, you know, they allow him to stay for a day or two till our parents can come get him, so for, uh, we are in a race against time to collect to pretty much get all the mirror badges that we can and become a full-on psychonaut. But there seems to be some a conspiracy going on there involving stealing brains and and something about that odd abandoned asylum across from the lake. I wonder what's going on there. Hmm. But anyways, each level it is pretty good, of course. Here is some of the gameplay of it. A little teaser demo. Cobwebs, another collectible. Yeah, like, this is how crazy some of the worlds can get. It can be kind of like topsy turvy, turning a bit with their own, where the laws of, where the laws of physics don't apply. You pretty much assign your psychic abilities to the three, to the three buttons on the right part of the screen and pretty much like each level deals with probably like a something related to mental health in a way sometimes two it can be effect but two definitely have like a uh advisory saying saying that yeah uh, the levels deal with you know play some mental health stuff to some com comedic level but also focus on being empathetic and healing add major themes so that's pretty much the big thing about too so oh yeah Lila is you know gonna be the love interest of this game as always but yeah that's pretty much the rundown of the entire game of course but there's also some cheat codes or whatnot to use to kind of help you get through it, such as there's one that make you invincible, another one that give you 99, like, uh, the max amount of currency you need in the game to purchase things from the camp store, and, uh, yeah, there also is a cheat that gives you, you know, the maximum rank number, for, which unlocks a hidden scene at the end of the game, but, frankly, I kind of don't really care for it, because... I watch it online, it's not really much. We really don't add much to the story. Just includes a plot thread that that you kind of discover a little bit throughout the game. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna uh, set the main menu now and just show you what it is. Here we are, Rasputin. 
Look at the brain. Incredible. That is so good. Then you have the three doors here. New game, the yellow door. Green is the low game. Blue is like continue one, but we're gonna start a new game. So I'm gonna set up now and let you enjoy the show. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber. Five and a half ounces of cranial fluid. 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light Monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get, get in. Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me Ras. Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift, but the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you, 
and your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda, but... Now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. Settle down in here! Big day tomorrow! I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot! I'm the early bird, and you're the worms! Got it? Now, lights out! Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way, if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me, if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these star cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a psi core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! Thank mm -hmm. you. 
that cabin is empty, right? Duh. I'm practicing for tonight, when it's gonna be full of ladies. That kind of thing takes practice? Um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies, so I think I know a little bit more about this than you do, okay? Hey, watch out! Someone's coming! Tell them to find their own hole. Hey, watch out! Someone's coming! Tell them to find their own hole. And by... By worst, did you possibly mean the best? Because that's what I was thinking. No, I meant worst, as in I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, Phoebe, and I think you'll find that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. The Levitators? Are we some sort of cover band that only plays graduation ceremonies for motivational seminars? I've been practicing, and I think I could levitate us both during our gigs. For real now. No way! Last year you dropped me and I broke my drums. Hey, at least those got fixed. I'll never get back those records you melted with that unplanned pyrotechnics display of yours. Look, you know when I have a good solo going, sometimes things get hot. I can't help it. And it seemed like part of the show if we named the band the right thing. Oh, not this again. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please. Would you please oh, welcome... No. The Firestarters. Oh, man. <sighs> if we're going to call it that, we might as well call it Burning Itch. What? <laughs> the Whispering Rockers. Oh, uh, what? That's my band name idea. Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. I heard it was a bunch of kids, Phoebe. Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. Yeah, because they were late for class. You'd better hurry, kid. Now, where were we, Quinn? Hey, how's everybody tonight? You feeling itchy? I said, you feeling itchy? Watch it, Quentin. Or what? You'll burn me? You know you can't burn me. You got a block. That's why we're friends. Oh, Stupid you're right, light. people. That's why we're in a band together. Yeah. And why we should call the band the Levitators. Hmm. Did you say heavy taters? Because that's what I heard. Levitators. Hmm. Fire starters. Levitators. Want another band name idea? Uh, no, the last one was too good. <laughs> yeah, if you give us another, we'll just have to fight about which of yours was better. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Levitators. Want another band name idea? Uh, no, e where were we? Levitators. Haters. Nah. -uh. The rest of camp is off limits until you have a basic braining merit badge. Now get. Nah. -uh. The rest of camp is off limits until you have a basic braining merit badge. Now get. You, new boy, seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Positive? Giant, hairless bear? Um, nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Also more hair. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. Mikhail will find you. For the last time, no! Uh, 
I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh, hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars or dog. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there as soon as they get these guys to shut up. Shut up! Hey, hold still. I I'm am gonna not. read your squirrel brain. Beat it, Fluffy. Ugh, probably has rabies. I wouldn't! What are you looking at, nut rat? Squirrels aren't so smart. I'm not gonna do that. Beat it, Fluffy. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as they get these guys to shut up. being in the galaxy Polarisma Australis. Hey, what happened to the squirrels? They lied. They lied. And then and, and, and they, they left. frozen in a big block of ice. So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come. On. Hi. What's the rush? Well, you know what they say about slow rolling tumbleweeds. No time for chit-chat, James. We're late for class. Hi. What's the rush? I don't want to get a bad seat. Hi. What's the rush? Um, some of us care about our education.
Where are you going, Maloof? Shh, I snuck out. That class is a death trap for crazy people. Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser, or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid dead on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah. We'll settle this on the battlefield. They see Nalvi in a trance while they astrally project themselves into the coach's psyche, which is awesome. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Whoops. Sorry. They see Nalvi in a trance while they astrally project themselves into the coach's psyche. Which is awesome. Hey, Chloe. What are you doing? The coach uses this to broadcast his thoughts across the camp. I think I can tune it to reach my people in space. Whoa. How does it work? I don't have time to explain the technology to you. Hey, uh, Chloe? Go away, Raz. I'm working. Hey, uh, Chloe? Go away, Raz. I'm working. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind, and you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced? It won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? I'm ready, sir. Well then... You're late, soldier! 
Now get in here and give me 20. So, this is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office? It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you, once you do, the war is on. Let's go! Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go, go, go! What kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now. Son, show 
Watch out! Fire down below! We can't get past this! This is stupid! Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? Whoa! <laughs> Bobby Zeltz's foot, that's what! You're stupid, new kid! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm, no. Move more than you do, Pokey! Move, move, move! 
plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. Is your name Joey? No. Because I'm going to call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear you. You're talking too slow. <laughs> Less waiting, more motivating! Washington have a shoot when he crossed the Delaware? Just jump, sissy! Well, I guess we're all going to die. Is there like a climax to this story? Didn't I mention the gopher yet? 
thought I hit that. Okay, let me start over. First, we went to the end of our street, and then we turned left. And then we turned right. And then we turned a soft right. And then we turned a deep left. And then we took a side road. And then we stopped and asked for directions. And then Lady had to go to the bathroom. And then Lady saw a gopher. And then Lady had to stop and scratch. And then I bent down to tie my shoe. And then we walked three miles. And then we walked two miles. And then we walked four miles. And then we walked half a mile. And then we made a U-turn. And then we had a snack. And then we got lost for a while. And then we got attacked by bees. And then I fell down a bad hole and had to reset my own arm back in the socket. And then we just stood still for a while. And then we took a side road. And then I bent down to tie my shoe. And then we walked two miles. And then Lady had to go to the bathroom. And then we had a snack. And then we turned right. And then we turned a deep left. And then we got attacked by bees. And then I fell down a bad hole and had to reset my own arm back in the socket. And then Lady saw a gopher. And then we got lost for a while. And then we turned left. And then we made a U-turn. And then we walked four miles. And then we walked three miles. And then we stopped and asked for directions. And then we turned a soft right. And then we just stood still for a while. And then we walked half a mile. And then Lady had to stop and scratch. Is there like a climax to this story? Didn't I mention the gopher yet? Thought I hit that. Okay, let me start over. First, we went to the end of our street. And then I gave Lady a bone. Yep.
Most people, they got something to hide. They store away their shame, their dirty little secrets, and these tiny vaults in their minds. But the enemy is not allowed any secrets in wartime, are they, soldier? So go ahead and bust open this vault. I got nothing to hide. Ah, good. You and enjoy that. One of my favorites.
right there, boy. That's a metal cobweb. You can collect them with a specialized piece of equipment once you get checked out on it. Till then, just steer clear of them. Participation ribbon at the end of camp. Oh, 
more motivating! than you do, Pokey! Hello? Hello? Guess I'm early. Hold it right there, son! Now just what in the Sam Hill do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh. Sorry about that. Didn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. I'm always glad to see a soldier come back from the field alive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men back there. Way to make us look bad in there. You are in trouble now. Bobby Zilch ain't happy. You better watch yourself, Goggleicious. What's that, hair boy? You want a piece of me? Hey, Brainiacs, settle down. Why? You worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No, because Sasha Nine is standing right behind you. Your performance, young cadet, was outstanding. I'd like you to report to my lab for some advanced training. Ooh, 
Raz the Spaz is gonna be in a special class. Benny, remind me to give him a special beating later, okay? These tests are unauthorized, though, so I can't actually ask you to come. But if you happen to drop in, well, what could I do? Let me just give you this. Remember, your talent will always set you apart, Rasputin. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. Wait! I don't even know what your lab is! Is this some kind of test? Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. And now I'm hearing things. Great. <laughs>